Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth. I'm back to show you how to create a really awesome layered look for an Instagram-like image for your feed. Um, so this was um, requested of me last week. Um, I had um, created an image inside of my Instagram and one of my good friends, Anna, said to me, she said, wow, she said, how did you do that? This that you did. How did you do it? So I introduced her to the app. But, um, you know, sometimes, you know, you forget that certain things are easier for one and it's not easier for others. So I realized, you know what, let me try to make some tutorials on how to um, use this app because I think it's a really amazing app. If you really, you know, dive deep into the app, you'll realize how awesome it is to create some really amazing images. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, the first thing that you want to do is when you open up your app, you're going to see this. Um, in order to start creating an image, I just want you guys to click on the um, little icon with the three papers, and this is your layers editor. So this is where you're going to create all your layers in between, between your background image, your circles, your squares, your um, text, all these little uh, you know bells and whistles that you want to add to an image. This is where you're going to keep track of everything. So here we're just going to let's start out with three layers. So I want you to click on the plus sign and click click it twice. One and two. And then go to your very first layer and click on the, the flower with the plus sign. So that's going to give you your background image. So click on um, photo library and go find your background image. I'm going to be using a coffee image for this one. Um, you're going to go back and being that the picture is small with your fingers you're going to want to stretch it with your fingers on screen so you can make it as big as you like on your screen. Now go back and you're going to go back to your layers palette and you're going to go to your second layer. You're going to go back and you're going to hit your toggle again and from here you're going to go to the little squiggly line at the very top. From there you're going to get the circle. Okay. Now before you go and try to make the circle, make sure that you go to your brushes and you find, excuse me, you find the brush or the shape or the pencil or marker that you want the outline of the circle to be. So I'm going to leave it at the basic brush stroke. Um, go back. Also make sure that it's the color that you want as well. So I think I'm going to use um, a beige background here. It's like a powder pink according to copper. Um, and now you go back. Now that you're inside of the circle and you've already um, chose what brush stroke and what color that you want it to be, you're going to go ahead with your finger or if you have um, a stylus like so, you're going to make your, your circle. So you're going to draw it as big as you want it, and that is what you're going to get. Now, I personally don't like the thickness of this circle, so we're going to go back and take it away. So with the right, with the, uh, the lower left hand corner, you're going to see a, a red arrow. Just click on that and it'll go back to where you were before. So we're going to go back to the brushes, and we're going to the editor, and we're just going to make it so it's not so thin, not so thick, excuse me, and then go back. And then we're going to go back, and now we're going to try to do the circle again. So you can make it as big as you want, as large as, see this is much better. It's not as thick and it's not so spaced out and airbrushed, airbrushy looking. So now you're going to go back to the circle, the toggle, and you're going to go to three dots at the very top and you're going to go to transform. This is where you can move your layer. This should be I'm going to put it at the very top right there. So once you're done with that you click done. The next thing that you're going to do is if you want to fill the circle you need to make sure you're still in that layer. So you're going to go back to your layers and you're going to notice that you're in the layer that you're supposed to be in. So 
go back, go to your toggle, go to your brushes, and you're going to make sure you're in brushes, and you're going to go to the little paint bucket that says fill. You're going to go back, click on the toggle, go to your colors, and you're going to want to um, just pick the color that you want it to be. I'm going to go with a light beige, beigeier color. And then you're going to come over here. Okay, so now you can, um, I'm sorry, you're going to click inside of the circle. And it's going to say flood fill, and it's just going to fill that circle. Um, so that's something that's really just easy to do, as long as you're inside of that same layer. Um, you're going to go back to the toggle. And now if you want to add text to the image, you're going to go back to your layers, go to another layer, go back. Click on the toggle, go to the three dots at the very top, click text, you're going to create text. So at the very bottom you're going to see an A, two little um, uh, bars where you can change the opacity and the size of the, the text and then the color of the text. So click on the A and you're going to be taken to where you can write your wording. Um, I'm going to use snail, snail round hound. Snail round hand, excuse me, um, and I'm going to write um, morning coffee. So now we're going to go back and you're going to see that it is too light. So we're going to go back and make it something bright that you can see just like so. But I don't like the, the hashtag to be scripted, so we're going to just take another one. And you could, there's so many to pick from, so just choose whichever one um, tickles your fancy. So, okay, so that's so much better. So you're going to just go to the transform button, which is the one next to the three, and you're going to be able to move the text around wherever you want. Like that. Or if you want, you can add morning coffee or whatever you want inside of the circle to create that image of, um, you know, that layered or textured image. Now, by no means is this something that I would post on my Instagram. I'm just trying to show you what you can do in between layers. So this is something that you can definitely do. Um, now, if the text is too um, big, then you go to free. And then with your fingers, you can make it smaller. And that's about it. And if it's still not centered, you just move, go back to the to the, the icon next to it, the free, uh, the, the move the text app. I'm sorry, I'm all tongue tied. The little compass on the side. You can click on that and move it around. Um, so once you're done and you're happy with that, you can click done. You can always go back and forth. I mean, it's back and forth until you're absolutely satisfied with it. Um, the other thing that you can also do with your um, with the text as far as moving it is it you can oops, okay, let's go back to free transform. You can rotate the text. Okay. Um, So you can move the text in a rotation manner. So you can keep it like that. I'm just going to keep it like that for, for now. And then you're going to click Done. And then you're going to go back to the layers again and add another layer. So in this layer, you can add, uh, add your at um, handle for your social media. And also be able to um, watermark your images right from here as well. So, you know, you don't want other people to take your images, watermark them, meaning make them have uh, your water, your uh, app handle or your dot com or whatever in the background so it's over your image and nobody can uh, take your image and make it theirs unless they uh, some Photoshop tricks or 
ninja style illustrator tricks. But other than that, you want to just have um, your at handle at the very bottom of your image. So we're going to move the text again and take it down here. And leave it like that. If you want it bigger, again, you can make it bigger. You could move it sideways. I mean, there's just so much you can do with this um, application. It's just getting affiliated with it and, you know, just play with it. That's the only way you're going to learn how to use it is by playing with it. So here is my quick little um, uh, tutorial on this. Um, all you have to do after, you know, you create your images is go to the top left hand corner you're going to click save it's going to take you to your little library go to your um, click on it and it'll tell you where you want to take it so all you have to do is click on your um, flower with the arrow pointing to the right click on that and it'll ask you where you want to save it to I'm going to save it to my photo library choose the orientation And that's it. And there you go. You got a really cool image to play with. So I will see you in the next video.